two hours, three tools and four boards. We just made the easiest standing planter ever. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, we've been missing my guy Brad and Pocket Saw. They've taken a hiatus. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's been a minute now. I don't think we've seen them since like Christmas. Oh, they're, they're slacking. So we're pulling them out of retirement, putting them back to work. Gonna put them back to work. And what are we building today, Kim? Well, I've been wanting to add some color and some flowers. It's springtime, so I wanna add some new pop to my back porch. My tiny, tiny back porch. It's really small. Tiny. Yes. Yeah. And this, this little planter is going to be super easy. It's a project that anyone can build. So if you got your own pocket saw or your own little Brad nailer for Christmas, this is the perfect first project if you haven't had a chance to make one yet. Keeping it real easy. Like yes. The easiest. The easiest. But the coolest <laughs> at the same time. And so this thing is perfect for a small space. You can put it put it anywhere. I think it'll go on a front porch, back porch, add some flowers. You don't have to. It could just go in the yard. It could just go in the yard go if you want to. Go in a back to. alleyway. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't have to attach it to a handrail because it's going to be a standing planter box. Stand alone. So. He's doing his own thing. Let's get it started. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We really just needed two one by eights at six foot, two one by fours at eight foot, some nails, like some brad nails, some glue, something to measure with. We're going to paint them using our country chic paints some and then paints. we're going to add some handles on the side of our boxes. Oh, that's right, so we can carry it around. And that's it. I told you it's going to be super simple. This is going to be quick and easy and simple. That is it. Oh, and I guess easy and simple are the same thing. Step two, uh, we're going to make all of our cuts. We're just going to take the one by eight and we're going to make three 36 inch pieces. Not a true 36 inch. We got 72 inch boards. They're not a true 72 inches. We're just going to split the difference. And then four legs out of the one by fours at 40 inches. And then we'll measure the pieces that go on the end here in a minute. They're about six and a half. Six and a half ish. That's my plan. Yeah, I think we should uh, go ahead and make all of our cuts with a uh, pocket saw. Nobody saw that coming. Will it make it all the way through? That's, that's a one by eight. I don't think it does. Gonna have to do a flip. Yeah, I don't think it does. We're doing a flip it flop. Safety first. So to get the actual measurement for the ends, we're going to kind of put it together and I'm just going to make them work. Step three. Now we're going to assemble the box. We're going to glue it and hit it with a one and a quarter inch bread. The nail, not the guy. So we're just gonna stand it up. Uh, throw some glue down the side. Yep. Oh. What? Steady hands. like a glove. Alright, there you go. There's a box. <laughs> Very simple. Like I said, all we're gonna do is 
glue and nail this thing together, we're going to spend more time decorating it than we are putting it together. Step four. Ooh, and now we're going to paint and stain. Stain and then paint, actually. Yes, so I'm going to stain the box first and give that a little, little bit to dry. And then I'm going to add a top coat in distress. I'm going to put the vanilla frosting over it and distress it. Just the box or the legs too? No, I think I'm going to leave the legs just stained. I'm going to leave the legs bare. And then I'm going to paint the box white. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you with me? You feel it? I'm feeling it. I feel you. <laughs> Step 4B. Now we paint. We're gonna paint it white. We're gonna paint it vanilla frosting. Oh, vanilla frosting. We're using our country chic paints. It's like a grayish white. We are putting these in our store. You should see them they're any in, day now. They're in the store. They're there now. They're there now. All right, so you can go get yours in our store, kngmakeit.com. Just a light stroke so I can easily distress. Our paint is dry and next step we're going to add a little distressing. So our paint technique is kind of distressed if you can see that. Sloppy. So sloppy. Yep. Um, so we're just really going to get the edges I think. I want to keep the center with as much paint as possible so the stencil will pop. So I'm really just focusing on the outside edges. And we're going to use our little battery powered Ryobi sander here. Looking old. Yes, with that electric sander, it just needed a quick touch and went straight down to the wood. Just a little kiss. Let's open a new project and we'll type in our saying. I'm not going to tell anybody what it is yet. You'll have to guess or read, I guess. We're going to use apple butter font because that's like Ray Dunn. We're going to make it 24 inches wide. Four inches tall. Now this won't fit on a mat, so we're gonna slice it. So uh, let's draw a box. Then we're gonna select both the type and the box, and we're gonna slice it. We're gonna delete the box, and then delete one of the I like big buds. And make sure it looks good on our mat, and a go. Step five. Now we're gonna Mod Podge down the stencil and get ready to paint. We're using some matte Mod Podge just to kinda create a little barrier so you don't get as much bleed. I'm not guaranteeing no bleed. No bleed. I'm, I'm saying, going no bleed. I'm saying less bleed. No bleed. Alright, ready to remove this jam? Yes. Alright, we're gonna pull it off against the grain. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah. Uh oh. Getting a little more distressed. Just looking a little distressed, that's all. Oop. Hey. Oh, oop. There we go. I'm in now. Did you try to go the other way? Yeah, I did. I think it will look fine. Actually, why don't we do this? Pull some more up. So it looks like we meant it. There you go. There we go. You even got some black on there. Purposeful. <laughs> oh no. I think that'll land underneath the. Uh, oh, it's under the board, yes. Yeah, I think it'll land under the lid. I don't know. Perfect. It, 
It does. It'll be good. All right. Lucy. I think it looks kind of cool. Oh no, it's not what I had planned. No, it's good though. It'll work. It's like that other vinyl we used. Gotta stick to that not permanent vinyl. I think it looks pretty cool. All right, we'll turn it around so we can see. All right, what do you guys think? Can you see it? You like that crackleness? It was intentional. And by intentional, I mean we didn't mean to pull up all the paint. <laughs> <laughs> all right, step six. Now we're gonna give it some handles. Oh, I just knew you were gonna throw it out. <laughs> throw some handles on the side. <laughs> I didn't want to catch you in the head with this thing. My heart. These are five and three quarter inch handles, so they're kind of beefy. Beefy. So I can carry this thing around. Yeah, because we're going to do a lot. Take of, it to the park. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of toting around with it. Who knows? All right, you ready? Yeah. So cute! Let me lift it up. Yeah, see. <laughs> Carry it all about town. All about town. This is our all about town planter tote. Alright, so next. Oh, I'll let you do it. Step seven, and now we're gonna attach the legs. We're gonna give them a pilot hole and attach them with a one and a quarter inch screw. Yep, so I'm going to put four screws. I'm gonna attach these legs to the side of the planter and I'm gonna measure an inch down from the top, three quarters of an inch in from the side. I'm just gonna drill a little pilot hole and we're gonna do two boards at one time. And then I'm thinking they should come in and be about like that. So what is that? I just want to take that here. Oh, about an inch. We're using an inch and a quarter screw. You guys think <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Look at this. How about this? I'll hold it by the handles. See, now I can tote it about town. Are we gonna put the liner in it now? Yes. Do you think it needs a little brace? I'm thinking it's gonna get real. I think it might need a brace. Yeah. Maybe. It's because it was two feet tall and you made it four foot tall. <laughs> Is it too tall? <laughs> I think it might think it be might too be. tall. I didn't realize it was this tall. My bad. <laughs> Maybe you just saw a foot off the, foot, the bottom. Yeah, the it needs a foot off of it. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Okay, let me get in here and explain what happened. So I drew this up and I have some great plans, but then when, when I wrote the dimensions down, I added an additional eight inches. So the legs are supposed to be 24 inches from the bottom of the box to the, the, the ground, 24 inches. And then we were going to add an additional eight on for the box so that they could be attached on the sides like they are. So that puts it at 32, but then what I did was say 32 plus 8 inches when I cut them at 40 so we need to take 8 inches off my legs are too long <laughs> my legs are and it wasn't until we really set it down and I started to realize it was way taller than I had drawn out so now we're gonna fix it
Big buds and I cannot lie. You know I can't lie. I like this thing. <laughs> yes, it's the perfect planter for this space here. Exactly what I wanted. And it was super easy to make. Anyone can make it. You can use those new Christmas tools to make this planter. And the great thing about it with this liner, I can swap out my flowers for herbs for later in the season. And I can't wait to use it. It'll be, it, it's already adding fragrance to our oh, porch. It is definitely fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> And we want to say thank you to our top patrons. We really appreciate your support, our friends on Patreon. I love the interaction. And I just want to give each of you a nice shout out. So thank you, Megan E. And Tony and Janet. Kat. Sherry. Megan P. Lois. Carrie. Tammy. Jill. And Christina. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate your support. And if you're not going to join us over on Patreon for the after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I'm trying one of these flowers. I can't do the whole thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I was like, can we wrap it up? Maybe they won't notice. <laughs